All right, let's take a look at Maple Hill hole nine. We'll start by noting that there is no drop zone on this hole. And what we're dealing with here is a long, very narrow, heavily wooded, uh, winding fairway uh, to a, a challenging upshot uh, to the to the green. So uh, I would say this is probably the most challenging hole in the front nine, uh, and uh, takes a, a couple really good shots to to get the birdie and uh, eagle is going to be very rare. Now you can take a couple different approaches to this hole. I think, uh, yeah, you can, you can certainly flex a backhand and get very close to the green. If you're lucky, you can use a roller even to get close to the green. But I think for, for most play uh, with, uh, you know, the least amount of risk, uh, I would say the forehand, which is the default is the way to go. So let's take a look at uh, some of those lines. Now I'm going to go with the glide skip captain. It's got some built in turn. And I think uh, the turn drivers work really well in this hole. Uh, turn skip, uh, rive, uh, anything that's got uh, either you know, the turn attribute or built in to the uh, disc. And I like to raise the chevrons just a little bit because there's a little bit of hill here and sometimes you'll clip the ground so i like to raise the chevrons just a little bit uh kind of go in the middle of the fairway here and with the captain we can come straight back and the goal is to get about 400 feet or so down this fairway if you can do that that's a good shot off the tee i think so let's see if we can do that there's a couple of trees that stick out here that uh Sometimes will prevent you from doing that, but uh, 450 is very good. Um, now, as far as the approach to the green, uh, depending on where you land here, you can actually go over here to the left, or you can go to the right uh, of this one tree. If you if you go over here to the right side, you do want to stay more on the left here. There's some overhead. Uh, canopy that'll knock you down if you get too far to the right on your upshot. Uh, but with a really nice drive here, uh, 294, I think uh, we could do a little easy forehand up the path here to the green. Let's see if we can get this over to the green. And we did. And there's a bunch of stuff on the green that will stop you, but there's also stuff that will send you flying OB. Uh, so, uh, again, it's a, it's a challenging upshot, uh, to be sure, even, even when you get a very good drive, uh, this is, this is just a tough hole all around. So like I say, I think something with turn, something with skip, uh, if you've got it, um, and particularly here we have a two end out of the left and this would be my last shot. Uh, I think that turn hopefully be very helpful. Gonna raise the chevrons a little bit, and uh, I think I'm gonna still give this just a tiny bit of Anheuser, just to make sure it stays to the left side of the fairway, and we should be able to get at least 400, if not a little more, out of this drive. And that's pretty good. 441. That's very nice. Now here. I have a little bit better uh, look at the green, 300 feet. Uh, let's go with the, yeah, let's go with the accurate roll musket. What the heck? Uh, let's see, if we go a little bit long, it's usually not too much of a problem. I'm gonna take a little bit off of it, because it does play downhill a little bit. And we'll catch some cabbage there, but that's going to drop me down very nicely onto the green. So, all right. Uh, I think that's the general idea for Maple Hill Hole 9, a very challenging hole. I would think even uh, birdie is not a gimme. Certainly doable. I think eagle is going to be pretty rare. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And as always, we'll see you around the valley.